All right, this video is for all of my book lovers out there. I just had a mid-year book haul that I'm just gonna show you guys. It contains mostly picture books that I got for our homeschool. I tried to get some diverse picture books in to incorporate in with our My Father's World Exploring Court with my father's world exploring countries and cultures so you'll be seeing some picture books that take place from around the world so i hope you stay tuned for this video let's just kick off this gigantic stack of books that i have here I'm gonna pretend like it's ink and not blood. <laughs> Ironically enough, it's on the war that saved my life. <laughs> I got these books from Amazon, so I'll link those down below, but I also got a ton of them from Book Outlet. This is actually my first time ever ordering from bookoutlet.com. I'll leave a link to that down below. It is awesome. I found a ton of books that I had had in my Amazon cart for way cheaper on Book Outlet. So just FYI, if you haven't checked out bookoutlet.com, I encourage you to check that out. So the first one is The War That Saved My Life with the blood spot on the bottom. I'm just joking. I think it's just ink. Um, this one is about Ada is 10 years old and has never left her one room apartment. Her cruel mother is too humiliated by Ada's twisted foot to let her outside. So when her little brother Jamie is shipped out of London to escape the war, Ada sneaks out to join him. Ada and Jamie are forced upon Susan Smith, a woman who is having only herself to care for or a woman used to having only herself to care for. At Susan's home, Ada teaches herself to ride a pony, learns to read, and watches for German spies. She even begins to trust Susan, and Susan begins to love Ada and Jamie. But in the end, will their bond be enough to hold them together during through wartime, or will Ada and her brother fall back into the hands of their mother? So I thought that I've heard really good things about this book. It's a novel, so I can either do it as a read aloud in our homeschool, or I can have one of the kids read it, but I think I'll I'm going to use it as a read aloud because I want to read it too. Another one that I've had my eye on for forever is this I Am book. This is by Aunt Diane Stortz. It's 40 Reasons to Trust God, Bible Stories, Devotions, and Prayers about the Names of God. And I just thought that this book looked so cool, such a cool way to go through the Bible and also learn about the different names of God and also break down all the different parts like this is the very beginning of the bible genesis and then it also ha goes into like adam and eve in the garden of eden breaking down like god of truth is el emet and it also pronounces the different hebrew names for god so that you can teach your children about the correct pronunciation like el shaddai promises for abraham it's just this is really neat love the illustrations love that it breaks it down so simply it also has a ribbon bookmark in it i think this is going to be great to utilize in my morning basket these next few books are african books this one is called a is for africa and i thought this would go really well when we start learning about the continent of africa in my father's world so it actually has like different things breaking it down for each letter of the alphabet with real pictures from people from Africa. And then this one is called The Water Princess. This chronicles a girl who um, has to go and get water for her village every morning. This book is called Abuela. And I just love, love, love the illustration in this book. They're so colorful and just beautiful and I am excited to add this to our collection. This book is called The Keeping Quilts. This is a Russian story. So once again, really beautiful illustrations. It's, this is a really beautiful book about um, how they remember back home in Russia by taking scraps of old clothing and her babushka uh, to form a quilt. So I think this is just a really, really beautiful story. This one I remember from when I was a kid. It's called The Relatives Came by Cynthia, Cynthia Ryland. And this is just one of those that I knew I had to pick up for my kids. I love this story when I was a kid. I remember my teacher reading this to our class. 
this one's going to go along well with my father's world when we study France next week. This is called Stone Soup. This was first published in 1947. This picture book classic has remained one of Marsha Brown's most popular and enduring books. The story about three hungry soldiers who outwit the greedy inhabitants of a village into providing them with a feast is based on an old French tale. These will go along with when we study Asia. This one is called The Name Jar. Um, and this is about a, a girl who has arrived from Korea. She's anxious about making friends and worried that no one will be able to pronounce her name. And instead of introducing herself on the first day of school, she decides to pick a new name. The only problem is she doesn't know what name to choose. And I think that this is kind of more of a lesson about how in the end she decides to use the name that she was named <laughs> instead of picking a new name and teaches everybody how to pronounce it and what the meaning is and how important that name is to her that she is never going to be anybody else but her. Um, so I think in this is also a lesson as well as a cultural teaching moment for my kids. This one is set in China and it is called The Empty Pot. The Chinese emperor announces an unusual test to choose an heir. The child who raises the best flowers from a seed given by the emperor will be a successor. Ping unaccountably is unable to get a seed to sprout. A lovely story, well told and most attractively presented. Um, so that is just one of the uh, reviews for it. But I thought that this would be great to go along with when we study China. And here are some just random ones that I've chosen just to add to our library. I've got this National Geographic 5,000 Awesome Facts. We love these fact books. My kids will sit for hours and just pour over different facts um, about spiders and word facts that will wow you. Um, red hot facts. So this one just has some fun categories, but that is how my kids always learn the best is when they're presented with something that's fun and with beautiful pictures. We always enjoy these National Geographic books. These two are from Robert McCloskey. Um, these are classics. We've got Make Way for Ducklings here and then we've got Blueberries for Sal. You've probably seen these before. These are definitely classic books. I just wanted to add these two classics to have in our homeschool. Another one I wanted to add is this James Harriet's Treasury for Children, Warm and Joyful Tales by the authors of All Creatures Great and Small. So this is just a collection of stories focusing on um, animals that is geared toward younger readers and also just beautifully illustrated. I think that my daughter Zoe is really going to enjoy this, but I also think all my kids will enjoy this. I also have the tale of Peter Rabbit. This is a board book, so I got this specifically for my two toddlers. I also have this classic, When I Was Young in the Mountains. Growing up in the mountains was special. Grandmother made hot cornbread and fried okra. There were trips to the swimming hole and Crawford's store. Each pleasure was one to share and remember. And each part is of a gentle story illuminated with perceptively happy paintings that evokes the love of the way of life of a family and most of all of a place. We love the mountains. Um, and my kids, we recently read Little House in the Big Woods and they loved that story. So I thought this would be another just beautiful kind of book along those lines to add to our library and just the simplicity of living in the mountains back in those days. I just, I love books like this so much. This one is called Mrs. Miss Rumpheus, Story and Pictures by Barbara Cooney. So is the American, winner of an American Book Award. This one I also remember from when I was a kid called My Great Aunt Arizona. Arizona was born in a log cabin her papa built. She grew into a tall girl who liked to sing, square dance, and most of all read and dream of faraway places she would visit one day. Arizona never did make it to those places. Instead, she became a teacher, helping generations of children in the one-room schoolhouse, which she herself had attended. Gloria Houston's joyous recounting of her great aunt Arizona's quiet yet meaningful life reminds us of the magical place a special teacher can hold in our hearts. And there's actually like an actual picture of her so it's based off of a real person I love the idea of this one this one's called just in case you ever wondered this is by Max Lucado 
I'll always love you. I'll always hug you. I'll always be on your side. And I just want you to know that just in case you ever wonder. And I just thought this was a sweet, sweet book and a reminder to my kids um, when I read it to them. I love books that are little reminders like that, just how much parents love their kids. And I know my kids enjoy it too. This one's called Owl Moon and it's about uh, a dad and a daughter who goes owling. So I thought this was a really sweet story. And last but not least, this is Margaret's Unicorn. I, my girls are obsessed with unicorns. I just thought this would be a sweet story. Just look at these pictures. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, I love a well-illustrated book. There you have it. That is my book haul, my little mid-year book haul. Uh, just a reminder that you do not need all of these things in order to homeschool. I always want to put that disclaimer out there that just because I have all this big old stack of books doesn't mean you have to have a big old stack of books in order to homeschool. The library is always always the best resource for books for your family for homeschooling. Um, I just like to have these books on hand because I just like building our home library. But just a reminder, just I know how easy it can be with these book haul videos or even just homeschooling haul videos. You do not need a bunch of books or things in order to homeschool your kids well and effectively. So just putting that disclaimer out there. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and click the like button if you liked this video. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you're taking me